2021, it was all over the news. A young lady walked into a small church in Virginia. She walked into the nursery and she asked to pick up a child. She claimed the parents were sick and she was there to pick them up. And the lady behind the counter went ahead and released little Noah to this woman who had no identification or a tag. Noah was kidnapped that day. Thankfully, 25 hours later, law enforcement were able to find the child and return them to their family safely. But it makes you wonder, why did that church not have a proper check-in process? You see, that same lady, that same day, went to two other churches to attempt the same thing. And both of those churches turned her away because they didn't recognize her, she couldn't identify the child, and she didn't have a tag or some sort of identification. But that third church missed it. And it makes you wonder if they even understood why we have a check-in process. I visit churches all over America. And one of the things that I watch on a regular basis is their check-in and check-out process. And some churches do an incredible job. I'll take notes on it and get ideas from it. In other churches, there is no way I would leave my child in that church. Their process is scary to me. And I truly believe it's because they don't understand why. Why it is important to have it. You see, if you do kids ministry, it's vital that you understand that every kid needs return to the right person every time. We want to make sure we have a safe environment for our kids. That's why we do a check-in process. And so that means you've got to have a way to collect data, to get the information, to find out the parent's contact information, to know who the child is, to create some sort of a method, whether that's a tag or a number, where the same parent can make sure they pick up that child, or you have a way to double check it. You need to have a process in case somebody loses their tag. What's that going to look like? Oh, I just forgot it. Well, go get it. I lost it. Well, then there's a process that we need you to adhere to before we just give you this child because we're going to make sure that the right child goes to the right person every single time no matter what you see that's why we have a check-in process we're going to keep our kids safe we're going to return to the right person you know it doesn't even matter who that family is in the church it can even be the lead pastor i want to make sure we follow the process no matter what you don't know what happened during the week you don't know what occurred in that family. And so I'm going to make sure whoever checked that child in is the same person who's checking that child out, that the child is returned to the right person every time. That's why we have a check-in process. Hey, this is Pastor Tony reminding you to keep your kids' ministry fresh.